Tommy Patera's fate is being decided in the courtroom of federal judge Rena Raji, a former acting U.S. attorney. He was found guilty of six murders in furtherance of a narcotics operation, conditions that allow for the federal death penalty. After Patera was arrested, the feds dug up the mutilated remains of two victims buried in a Staten Island bird sanctuary. In her opening remarks to the jury, assistant U.S. attorney Elisa Liang used those two murders to forcefully and dramatically illustrate why she said Patera deserved execution. While one victim was forced to watch, she said, Patera shot the other seven times, slowly. She deliberately counted each shot, one, two, three, and so on, while looking each time at a different juror until the impact of those seven bullets registered. Then she said Patera shot the other victim seven times. All the defense could do was call four relatives as character witnesses. Patera's lawyer told the jury they had an alternative to the death penalty if all 12 did not agree on the death penalty. The option of life without parole, life without possibility of release on parole. And I think given that option, uh, a jury should be very reluctant to impose the ultimate sanction. In the event the jury votes thumbs down and Patera gets the death penalty, there is some confusion because Congress made no provision for what happens for someone who gets the federal death penalty in a state that has no death penalty. Probably Patera would be transferred to another compatible state and then executed according to the manner that state normally uses. Pablo Guzman, Fox News, New York.